All right, so here we have the X5R with the Osmo and some attachments, you know, regular attachments like a microphone and a tablet. And here is the test cable. Part number is 94. This is what we're gonna test out on the front part of the Osmo. So the instructions come in like every language in this package. And then we have the actual connection, which is right here. And here is a connection tab for camera. And that is for your USB. That you can put your uh, focus on. So we'll connect this right here. Wrong way. There we go. That's in. And now we're gonna connect the USB that comes with uh, your usually it comes with like an Inspire one or the drone, but this is the DJI cable. I'm gonna connect that to that. All right, so here we have the tablet. It is on, obviously. Um, we have a connected USB with the DJI cable to the converter box, and that's on the Osmo, which is on on. And uh, we have everything connected. Uh, but now I just want to know: we connected everything and then powered the Osmo back on. Uh, just because we tried it with everything on including the Osmo and it was a bit buggy sometimes the DJI go go app would not detect it so let's uh, go into the app now it should come up there we go it's so it did detect the X5R automatically camera and boom it's literally like a lot faster booting up there's no uh, sporadic photos or anything or green screen for a little bit this is immediate so definitely a step up right there from getting just a Wi-Fi the, the cable is definitely better oh, very responsive uh, going up and down there's literally no lag this is instant very good uh, there's definitely a big noticeable difference yeah once you have the focus remote on here it'll be even better all right, so one of the things we notice is also when you plug this USB cable in, the Osmo becomes a power bank. The tablet starts to get a charge from the Osmo, so I do recommend using an external battery source, such as the you know battery plug that goes into an Inspire battery or a uh, Phantom battery, because uh, it's definitely going to drain the Osmo battery. As you can see, my Osmo battery is pretty low already. All right, but other than that, the construction of this is very solid. It's not overheating. It's uh, I wish it was metal, but it is plastic. But it is done pretty well. Uh, it could, you know, it's not perfect, but I, I have to give it, you know, a nine out of ten. Still really well, well made. All right, so let's um, let's uh, test this real quick. I'm gonna test the focus. The focus was one of the parts where it definitely would lag, especially doing manual focus. So let's uh, switch it over. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a uh, instant, instant. Let's try autofocus. Oh, exposure. So here we go. Yep, look at that. So yeah, that's one of the main things. During focus, you definitely get a way less lag. Uh, now another thing is too, I wish the cable was a little longer. Uh, it's like every time I bend it, I just feel like I'm just putting stress on both ends just because the cable's so short um, you know I'm probably gonna velcro it here to the side but I still feel like it's just uh, getting stress on the end of the cables however the cables do feel like I said they feel strong like they can hold their own so one thing to remember is make sure your firmware is updated uh, I tried doing no updates and it would not work um, and also that make sure everything's plugged in first and then power on your Osmo so now that you have a open Wi-Fi slot, the possibilities are kind of opened up now because I'm actually, uh, you know, especially with streaming, I've been thinking of using because like a software that I've been using in the past of having the tablet talking to a computer through Wi-Fi. Before I had the tablet talking to a computer through USB, but now I'm going to try doing it with Wi-Fi and that's something I'm going to try down the road, maybe experiment and maybe see if I can get DJI to help with some bugs.